Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Microsoft Ignite. Unplugged, the show about the creation of the event known as Microsoft Ignite. And this week's episode, we're talking about Microsoft Learn. And how can we have a show about Microsoft Learn without inviting my good friend Allison to come and talk about Microsoft Learn? Yep. What's hey going there. on? Oh. Rick, we love Ignite. <laughs> we are so excited. We are just happy to come share all the experiences that we have available for you that are going to be both on site as well as our digital audience to mm -hmm. help you get skilled up. Now, I happen to read ahead in the script a little bit, mm -hmm. and you're br I found out that you're bringing something back that we haven't had in a while that is one thing very near and dear to my heart. Yes. And that is certification. Yes. We're bringing it back, baby. We're bringing it back. We're so excited. <laughs> we love certification. So um, attendees can take a free Microsoft certification mm -hmm. exam on site. In addition, they can take a free GitHub certification exam oh, on site. New. So that's new this yeah. year. Uh, in addition, we also have an opportunity for our attendees to earn a Microsoft Applied Skill credential, which is our new uh, credential offering, mm -hmm. as well as a practice assessment on site. So this no. is a really cool like credential experience for us. And, and I can assume I can just walk up and take anything, right? Well, so I would suggest that you register ahead of time mm -hmm. for the Microsoft certification exam. Yeah. The rest of the experiences would definitely have space for you to come and, you know, kind of uh, take it as you show up. But for the certification, you should do that ahead of time. So right. go to aka.ms slash Ignite certification. And that's where you can choose your exam. You can book your time. You've got all the prep resources mm -hmm. that you need in order to prepare because you've got some time to prepare. Okay, now that's amazing. Yeah. Does Microsoft Learn have anything else going on? Well, I mean, you've met our team, yes. right? So <laughs> we definitely have a lot more. We can't just do one thing. Mm -hmm. So we'll also have an on-demand lab area where attendees can drop in. They can explore a number of labs from the catalog. Mm -hmm. In addition, if you've missed an instructor-led lab, let's say it was booked or you know full or you didn't make it in time, you can actually come and take some of the instructor-led labs oh, in the on-demand lab area. Nice. Okay. Now, did I mention that the Microsoft Learn Challenge is back? Okay, that's also near and dear to my heart. That's yes. easily a number two. But <laughs> the Learn Challenge is a great place where you can go and challenge yourself and challenge your friends to go off and take very structured, organizational, educational experiences, right? Absolutely. And it's going to kick off when the event starts, so November 19th. Got it. Now, is there anything else going on for folks uh, for the digital experience yes. that join us online? We definitely do not want to forget our friends. We want to make sure that we've got lots of experiences for you that are joining us digitally. Okay. And so we've been working with all the speakers to create official Microsoft Learn plans and collections that will be able to take you to the next level of information beyond the event. Now, Microsoft Learn plans, they're different. They're different than a collection. What's the difference between they the are. two? We just launched Microsoft Learn plans within the last year, and they're more of a, a better, more robust learning experience experience. Mm -hmm. And so there's actually learning objectives for the experience as well as nudges that take you along the way. Now, sometimes you need collections because that is a great consolidated list of resources, mm -hmm. but we, where we can, we're actually using Microsoft Learn Plans to really help. Got it. Now that's, that's for both the in-person experience and the online experience. Correct. Now, what about your actual event booth area for the on-site people? What are you going to do to possibly top last year? Because there was like CO2 cannons, there was confetti, <laughs> there was people screaming, 360 cameras. How can you possibly top that? Well, we have a lot of fun. I, I brought some some swag with us. Should we go get our swag on? Okay. All right, let's yeah. go. All right. So we got we got some fun swag here. Rick, okay. you're not wearing your swag. Correctly. I am wearing my hat. I'm like perfectly fine with what's going on. <laughs> Did you know that these are two different types of hats? No, no, they're beanies. No, they're no, both no. beanies. So this one is a beanie, and this one is a toque. I just called it a beanie with a pom-pom. It's a toque. Okay, it's well, toque. if you take an exam on site and you pass either a certification exam or an applied skill, you okay. can choose from some of our swag offerings. So we've got mugs, mm -hmm. we've got toques. And beanies. We've got crossbodies, we've got pins, we've got a lot of stuff to really okay. celebrate you. There will probably be some streamers. I, yep. can't, I, I mean, can't I can't confirm anything. But in addition to that, we're also planning some really fun AI powered dancing robots mm -hmm. and the ability for both our on-site and our digital folks to experience a community mural. Nice, and you've made me promise by putting this on that I actually have to go and take an assessment or an exam certification if I want to keep this. Yes, so, sir, I'm taking it back if you, you don't. It. I will absolutely do this. Well, this absolutely sounds amazing. I can't wait for Microsoft Ignite. It's going to be fun. Uh, what can I do between now and November the 19th to get ready for all of this oh, kind of stuff? It's a great question and super important. You have time okay. before the event. And so really, if you're planning on taking a Microsoft certification, go ahead and register for that exam mm -hmm. and start preparing. 
Now there's also a number of things that you can do and check out on Microsoft Learn that like, let, really let you brush up on the latest technical content that mm -hmm. we have. And that really helps you get prepared for what you're gonna experience on site okay. at Microsoft uh, Ignite. Nice. And then make sure that you're following us on Microsoft Learn on LinkedIn or X to get the real time news, experience what's happening for the event and maybe see Rick dancing with the robots. You never know what could happen if you follow us on the socials. <laughs> now. If you want to take advantage of all of this and all the goodness that Microsoft Ignite has to offer, you have to go register. Please go to ignite.microsoft.com and you can register for the full digital experience. Don't forget, go there, register today to get access to everything. If you happen to be joining us in Chicago, mm -hmm. uh, we like to share a little bit about some of the recommendations of what you can do while you're there. Cool. Now, I happen to know that you're a big foodie person. I am Now, a big what foodie. do you do when you go to a conference and you've got a whole gaggle of people and you all have different food choices? Yeah, we argue about where we're going. So I've got a solution for you. This time, take them to what's known as the Time Out Market. Okay. So this is actually like a travel magazine that's gone in and created these different places around the world where they have a warehouse space and they bring in all sorts of different pop-ups and, and eating establishments and oh, drinking establishments cool. that are representative of the city to experience all in one spot. Now this place is actually just west of the loop on the Green Line and the Morgan Station. Nice. Uh, and it is a warehouse environment where you will have the city's top chefs, the most talked about restaurants, all the different buzziest of bars. They're all there for you to be able to go off and try. They're open at 7 a.m. in the morning for coffee, Ooh. all the way until 2 a.m. in the evenings all right. uh, for a variety of experiences. This particular one is like three stories tall. The center of this warehouse environment is what I'm gonna call like beer hall style okay. scene of picnic cool. tables. All right. So plenty of room for you and your friends to go off and experience all that they have to offer. So go check this one out. It's all under one roof, weather protected and ready to go for you during Microsoft Ignite. Very cool, I'm gonna check that out. You got it. So please, if you haven't already, don't forget, go register at ignite.microsoft.com and we will be seeing you at Microsoft Ignite. See you then.